Typefaces are families of fonts. A font is only one specific weight or style within the typeface family. The two most common typeface classifications are serif and sans serif. A serif typeface has projections off the main strokes of characters, either connected by curves or at 90 degree angles. Typographers debate the merits of using serif versus sans serif typefaces, especially regarding legibility. To determine the best typeface for any situation, study the anatomy of its characters. For instance, typefaces with large X heights are easier to read. X height is the height of the body of a lowercase letter. It is also the distance between the baseline, on which the letters sit, and the midline. Capital letters are measured with cap height, the distance between the baseline and the cap line. Parts of letters extending above the cap line or below the baseline are called ascenders or descenders and are measured with ascender or descender heights. Parts of letters hanging below the baseline that don't reach the descender line are called overhang. Large open counters also increase legibility because they help define the typeface's characters. The counter inside an E is called an I. Individual character shapes also play a role. It is easier to read two-story A's and G's than single-story A's and G's. Distinctions between character shapes are described using specific terminology. The primary part of a letter form is its stem. A secondary diagonal part is a stroke. A character's thinnest strokes are called hairlines. A stroke can be straight as an arm or crossbar, or curved as a bowl, a lobe, a shoulder, or arch, the spine of an S, or the loop of a G. Character legs and tails are short descending strokes. In a curved stroke, the stress is the direction of thickening and the axis is drawn on the thinnest parts. The end of strokes that don't include serifs are called terminals. Finials are tapered terminals. Swashes are decorative replacements for terminals. Beaks and spurs are strokes at the ends of terminals. I's, J's, and G's have other distinguishing strokes at their ends. The inside angle where two strokes meet is the crotch. The outside points are the apex and vertex. A link connects the bowls of a two-story G. And finally, a ligature is the connection of two characters to form one glyph. Remember, typeface anatomy is the first step to giving your design a little character.